Dear Academicians, we are going to make a presentation about a forecasting study in the area of finance and the topic of BIST index. Firstly, we are going to begin with introduction and aim of the study. Secondly, what kind of studies were done in this area and which authors who have made study about the bias in regression will be the content of background and literature review. Then, we are going to give some summarized information about Bayesian regression and the content of the work. After that, the computational study and analyzed part of our data will be shown. Finally, what kind of results is extracted from study and our suggestions will be seen. Identification of factors that determine the fluctuations of share certification in the market possesses great importance for the capital market actors. Specifying the factors and markets with also the relationship between them correctly will reduce the amount of exposure to financial risk bring into this topic the limelight of market actors. The most important indicator of good progress in the economic cycle for economy can be observed as the stock market index, which is also used as macroeconomic indicators for developed economies. It's generally observed that all the stock price rises or falls in the same period, and this case gives the impression that there are some factors that have an influence in this period. Our study will address the portion of the macro factors affecting the stock. Finding a meaningful and systematic data related to microfactors can take too much time. Interest rates, exchange rates, money supply, inflation, gold, oil prices are investigated among the microfactors to observe a relationship between stock markets. Macroeconomic factors may be in relation with different degree and direction of stock prices. Although the causes of changes in the economic factors can be very dissimilar, changes occurring in the macroeconomic and development affects all businesses in an economy due to these factors. Attempts to characterize stock return predictability generally resulted in little consensus on the important conditioning variables giving rise to model uncertainty. Stock indices may be influenced from many factors such as political, economic, environmental, and commercial factors. Being dynamic, complex, and nonlinear structure makes this analysis tough and requires very complex and difficult process. Due to high uncertainty and volatility, making it difficult to estimate the stock price behavior, stock investments carry more risk than on any other investment. Because of possessing BIST index, very high chaotic structure, it's not possible to conclude that the long-term predictability. Bambora, Gionne and Rehlin 2010 shows that vector autoregression with Bayesian shrinkage is an appropriate tool for large dynamic models. Chen, Long and Dog investigate that the probabilistic neural network is used to forecast the direction of index return after it is trained by historical data. Statistical performance of PNN forecasts are measured and compared with that of the generalized methods of moments. Kramers introduce a new methodology that explicitly incorporates model uncertainty by comparing all possible models simultaneously and in which the priors are calibrated to reflect economically meaningful information. Mater, Bührer, Thompson and Stansky work on NONMEM does not provide the analyst with individual subject parameter estimates. To overcome this problem, they divide a three-step approach. Specifically, for step two, consists of individual Bayesian regressions using the measured drug concentrations for each subject and the population pharmacokinetic parameters obtained in step one. The Bayesian parameter estimates of the individual subject can be plotted against the demographic factors of interest. From the scatter plots, it can be seen which are the demographic factors that appear to affect the pharmacokinetic parameters. Predictive equations are very important tools for the payment management systems. 
However, databases to support the developments and updating of these models are lacking. These databases are often inadequate in sample size, noisy or incomplete. Conventional statistical modeling tools such as classical regression analysis may have limited success in these applications. A promising solution lies in the use of Bayesian regression, which explicitly allows experts to be used to supplement poor quality data. Bayesian regression methodology was adopted by the Canadian Strategic Highway Research Program for the Canadian Long-Term Payment Performance Monitoring Program. In its simplest sense, Bayesian regression is a specialized adoption of the Bayes theorem involving development of multivariate regression models, which explicitly consider two disparate sources of information. First, a prior information, information that is known prior to an experiment, experimental data, information that is derived for an experiment. The interpretation and conclusion drawn from the experimental data can be quite different depending on what other evidence exists on the subject at hand. However, this difference in interpretation does not simply mean biasing a result. Interpretation of results using bias theorem is a mathematically consistent way to interpret evidence or information. The bias approach calculates a meaningful and credible answer without relying solely on a small database. In doing so, the bias technique allows decisions to be made in the short term, while improvements to the data, judgment and the model continue to be made. In assembling information for Bayesian regression, data collected in the traditional manner is supplemented with prior knowledge. The so-called prior may be drawn from expert judgment, old data sets, or knowledge that is generally accepted in the field. Expert judgment can also be encoded by polling experts and asking them to estimate the value of the dependent variable for a combination of contributory variables. Once collected, the experts' observations are interpreted similar to the traditional data. In this table, you are going to see the dependent and independent variables with data. Stuck in this is our dependent variable and exchange rate, interest rates, oil prices, money supply and inflation columns are our independent variables. The mean and SD under NOT statistics are the empirical posterior mean and standard deviation from the MCMC simulated posterior distribution for each parameter. These values are used as the estimate and standard error of the associated parameters. Moreover, the VAL 2.5 PC and VAL 97.5 PC correspond to the 2.5 and 97.5 percentiles, which can be used as the 95 credible interval. The posterior density plots are histograms of the same 16,001 rows. Posterior summaries and densities after running the MCMC algorithm for 14 iterations are provided in Table 2 and Figure 1 respectively. Diagnostics for assessing convergence of the MCMC method can be done by examining the history plot of the samples at each iteration and looking for random scatter. We have found consistent results from regression model by looking at autocorrelation graphs. Descriptive analysis of the posterior distribution of R2B indicates a considerable improvement of the precision. In the prediction of delivery times when including in the model, covariates cases and instance. Observing all parameters, we can infer that the effect of four explanatory variables have an important contribution to the prediction of BIST 100 index. However, the interest rate did not seem to have a significant effect on the BIST 100 index. The two-year evaluation made here can be expanded and examined in a wider range of different studies. Minor changes are observed in the regression equation if posterior medians used as point estimates instead. Observing all parameters, we can infer that the effect of both explanatory variables, we are going to say it as cases and distance, have an important contribution to the prediction of delivery time. All summary statistics and posterior densities indicate that zero is far away from posterior distribution with posterior probability of having positive association, 
between each xj and y equal to 1. Furthermore, for each additional case determined by the results of BIST index, the index is a posterior expected to increase by 655.6 points. The increase in expected index value for each additional case lies between 520 and 750 points with probability 95 percentages. For every increase of consumer price rate by 1 point, the index expected to increase by 68.68. The increase in expected index value for each additional case lies between minus 200 and 270 points with, prob with probability 95 percentages. For every increase of producer price index by 1 point, the index expected to increase by 59.69. The increase in expected index value for each additional case lies between minus 150 and 260 points with probability 95 percentages. For every increase of exchange rate by 1 point, the index expected to increase by 167.2. The increase in an expected index value for each additional case lies between minus 120 and 260 points with probability 95 percentages. For every increase of interest rate between by one point, the index expected to increase by 7.61 percentages. The increase in an expected index value for each additional case lies between minus 30 and 400 points with probability 95 percentages. Parameter beta 0 has no sensible interpretation in this study, since the zero value is nonsense for both explanatory variables. For this reason, no interpretation of this parameter attempted. We only observe that zero value lies at the left tail of the posterior distribution within the range of the 95 percentages posterior interval. Since the interpretation for beta 0 is meaningless, we can focus on the predicted value for a typical or representative delivery route. According to the posterior summaries of not typical that why, a typical index point will take 66,840 on average and will range from 54,620 to 74,380 with, with uh, probability 95 percentages. From here you can see our references.